very aggressive fighter who comes into the ring prepared to fight at a tremendous pace. You see Yvonne right there. Her challenger is Brenda Rouse from Oklahoma. Uh, unbeaten, she is rated number one as a flyweight in the 108-pound division, moving up to fight at 112 pounds here for the chance to fight for a title. You see her there right now. You see her there also with the man who trains her and being slapping hands with Tommy Morrison, the heavyweight, former heavyweight contender who trains her. There is Tommy in her corner. Brenda is the opposite of Yvonne Trevino. Brenda is a boxer, a very accomplished boxer. She will have to find some punch today to keep Yvonne at bay. And uh, from Brenda Rouse's point of view, she wants this fight to be a boxing match from Yvonne Trevino. She wants it to be a toe-to-toe -to -toe slugfest. Should be interesting, Dan. All right, Alex. Let's go ahead and check the statistical comparison between the two fighters here in our first bout, both 30 years old. Uh, Trevino more accustomed to fighting at the 112 weight. She's a couple inches taller and has the reach advantage that goes along with it. The rules today are of the Women's International Boxing Federation. They use the 10-point must system. The three knockdown rule is in effect. The standing eight isn't. A fighter can't be saved by the bell in any round, and only the referee may stop the bout, and our referee today is the veteran Kenny Bayless. And we are ready to go here from Las Vegas. This for the WIBF super flyweight title held by Yvonne Trevino, and a good left hook to get things started by Brenda Rouse, but here comes Trevino on the attack, Alex. these women's bouts are always two-minute rounds so this fight today is scheduled for ten two-minute rounds and again it's Trevino has Rouse backed up on the road Brenda Rouse trying to get a little separation but as we anticipated Yvonne Trevino has always been the aggressor Whoa, big right uppercut by Yvonne Trevino we're having some problems here with Alex's headset. We'll get it squared away here in just a minute. And you see the southpaw style there of Yvonne Trevino. Brenda Rouse has fought one southpaw before. She didn't know until she got in the ring it was going to be a southpaw. This time she had a chance to box a little bit with one of the guys in the gym, Tommy Morris's gym, that is a southpaw, and uh, says she uh, now is prepared. Yvonne Trevino, oh, good uppercut another there. Another good uppercut with that right hand by Trevino. And a couple digging shots to the body, and another uppercut scores for Trevino. I think this is not Brenda Rouse's fight. Brenda Rouse is fighting much more toe-to-toe -to -toe than she wanted to do. You see her back up there. She is hurt. Brenda Rouse is hurt. She's covering up in the corner. She tries to come out, but her face is reddening. Brenda Rouse trying to make it to the end of the first round. and But not enough movement, Dan. She should be moving off of the ropes. She just totally got away from her game plan here. This first round, oh, Yvonne Trevino. And Kenny Bayless steps in and stops the fight. We don't even make it to the end of the first round. She was only a couple of seconds away from making it out of the round. But nobody can argue with Kenny Bayless stepping in and stopping this bout, Yvonne Trevino, all over Brenda Rouse. And it was interesting, Dan, because Tommy Morrison said coming in that he was worried about Brenda freezing up in this kind of an opportunity, and I think that's exactly what happened, because she just has not fought at all in that manner. She's a boxer. She's always been able to handle that kind of aggression. Let's take a look at some of the uh, action here. Yvonne Trevino is tremendously accurate with the right... Never got on track, never found any rhythm in the fight. Uh, that's okay. Uh... Like I said, sometimes mentally you got to get yourself set. She's doing what she can. Obviously, I do respect her. She's a lady that comes from a kickboxing background. I definitely respect that highly for the fact that I do not want anybody that doesn't have the experience. I don't want any of my fights to come easy. I love that challenge. And definitely, she's a kickboxer, and I respect her a lot for that. I really hope uh, Brenda decides to stick with it and just continue improving. That's all she should do. One thing I think she'll do is I think she'll stay down at 108 pounds. There was another good uppercut by you, and that's a punch that you used to tremendous advantage on the inside. Definitely. If uh, she decided to stay in that weight category, I wish her lots of luck and very well career for her. Now, you see Kenny Bayless, the referee, looking very close to you. 